What's up, YouTube? CJD here from Chris's Junkyard Designs with another recent Cracks video. We got some premium die cast to look at that I recently got, and this one custom that I just finished. It's the first custom I've done in probably six months or so. So, we'll um, take a quick look at this first, and then we'll dive into the premiums. It shouldn't be too long a video. So, this is a Ferrari F40 from Majorette. Older one, it was pretty beat up. I don't even remember where I got it, but I've had it, so I said this would be a good one to mess around with for a first custom. Uh, interior's done with some red accents. Uh, we got black added on there, nice red metallic. Tail lights are done up. This opens up, engine's a little detailed up, nothing crazy. Kept the original wheels on there, cleaned them up a little bit, chromed the edges, put a little red in the middle. And that's it. It's got a little suspension. So, not perfect, but I'm getting there, getting back in it again. So, the other custom I did with this one, uh, the paint bubbled up when I clear coated it. So, that went back in the stripper. But this one I'll just keep. It came out pretty cool. All right, let's look at these premiums. Start off with Dairy Delivery from that Pop Culture set. Pretty cool, I guess, with MTV on it. I'm not really too interested in that, but I do like the Dairy, dairy Deliveries, and I do love those wheels on it. Absolutely love them. So, we'll take a quick look at it. It's got the MTV graphics on it. August 1st, 1981. Well, I guess that's when it started. I don't know. No idea. But the dairy delivery is pretty awesome. I love that casting. Always a good casting. Put a bunch of stuff on. Okay, next up, we got the Mutz Cuts van. From Dumb and Dumber. This thing's pretty cool. Definitely unique casting. It's pretty heavy. I thought it would be textured, but it's not. It looks like it is. This piece is like rubber on the top here. But the rest of it's die cast. All metal. Providence, Rhode Island. Yeah. Mutz Cuts Van. This will probably be a one and done casting, I'm sure. But that's a cool one. I like it. Pretty cool. Next up, 77 Pacer. Pack and Pacer. Beavis some butthead on it, which I'm not really too interested in either. Um, I might try and take those off, but I'm afraid it's going to take that red off with it on the door because I'm sure that's all tampa. I'm not positive because I like to just keep it without that stuff and have it look like a, um, you know, like a work in progress car or something. So, I don't know. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. But in the show, I really didn't watch either. But I love this casting. I'm actually doing a custom right now on this casting. For me. I've had it stripped for a long time. Just never did anything with it. So I really do like it. I wish they would do more of that casting. It's so cool. Okay, now we're going to get into the big boy cars, the heavyweights here. <clears throat> I'm 
trying to read what this is. Of course, I can't see it. Let me just wing it. Okay. All right, we'll start off with this one. This thing's awesome. Nissan GTR Nismo GT3. Gran Turismo. This casting's awesome. Very cool. Yeah, if I didn't buy the set off J Car Diecast, I would never have seen this car. Ever. I've still never even seen this set. Near many remnants of it, because I'm sure the dairy delivery will be left behind. Maybe the pack and pacer. But I haven't seen anything of it yet. But this thing's freaking awesome. Got the PlayStation symbol there. Nismo. Lensed headlights. Nismo in the back. This thing's just awesome. Very cool casting. Looks really good. I don't know if I have another one of this or if this is a new casting or not. Really don't know. But I'm glad I got this one. And then next up, we got the Nissan GTR R34. Also in Gran Turismo. It's Gran Turismo 7, I believe, this one. It's going to be the other one that everybody's scalping. Wanting. It is definitely freaking awesome. Nice graphics all around it. All over the place. This front end, the Nismo on it. Gran Turismo on the back window. Yeah. Pretty sweet. It's a good set right there. Really cool. Definitely a good set. I usually don't get the pop culture sets, but this one was pretty good. Okay, we got a couple boulevards that I picked up. We'll look at them. We got the Nissan Silvia S15 Super Silhouette. Another one I would never have found. The one I got off Ignition Diecast. So, glad he had it, because I never would have got it. Lens headlights again, which is awesome. The Liberty Walk. I believe it's lens taillights too. I don't know. I can't. Yeah, it is. Yep, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, that looks really good. Very popular model, that's for sure. And then we'll finish with one more. My favorite of the bunch, 1982 Nissan Skyline R30. This beautiful black. I keep banging into everything. 
<clears throat> this thing is freaking sweet. I'm so glad I got this. I didn't think I'd get this one. Very awesome. Definitely by far my favorite skyline is this one. Hot Wheels does this really good. It's so cool. KDR 30. Love the wheels, love everything. Everything on it looks awesome. It's my third premium of this, I think. Second, third, like that. Love it. It is very awesome, for sure. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks again for the likes and the comments. Take care. Have a great rest of your day.